If you've ever wondered whether AI will replace cloud computing roles, you're definitely not alone. To give us more insight on this topic, I've invited Mike Chambers, a generative AI developer advocate from Amazon Web Services, to join me today. In our discussion, Mike shares his unique perspectives on the intersection of cloud and AI and helps us answer the question, will artificial intelligence replace roles in the cloud? Let's get into it. Hey, Mike, thanks for joining today. Thanks for having me, Lucy. Very excited to be here. So to start off with, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us a bit about your background in cloud and AI? Absolutely, yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mike Chambers, and I work for Amazon Web Services. I work in developer relations, and my role is a developer advocate. I specialize in artificial intelligence and machine learning. I've been working for AWS now for nine or 10 months, but I've been working with AWS in the industry for about nine years. My job recently has become very, very busy because everybody wants to talk about artificial intelligence and machine learning. Yeah, and that's why we have you on the channel here. So uh, getting into the question that has been on everyone's minds, in your opinion, do you think AI will replace cloud jobs in the future? So this includes solutions architects, cloud engineers, and so on. Well, that's a, that's a big question. Um, my, my personal take on this is that no, artificial intelligence isn't going to come sweeping through and make all of these roles redundant and that we're not going to need them anymore. I think what is happening is that these tools are there to help people to be more efficient at those roles. And we're seeing that happen already. So I think that's definitely going to happen. I don't see, not for quite a long time, anybody working as a solution architect, for example, being replaced with chat GPT. So I think it is true that generative AI, particularly this sort of new wave of AI that everybody's very excited about, it's an incredible technology and it's going to enable people. It's going to assist people to become much more efficient at those types of jobs. So is it going to change things? Absolutely. Is it going to wipe out roles? No, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, that's a really good way to phrase it. Kind of like an assistant rather than something that would wipe out your entire role. So speaking of the cloud industry as a whole, what do you see as the impact of artificial intelligence? So it's going to have a large impact in cloud or maybe the other way around, actually. So I think a lot of what we're seeing in machine learning since like for the last 10 years, um, has really happened because of cloud. So cloud infrastructure there, you've got enough compute to actually be able to generate a lot of these projects that we're seeing. So this is all the way back to things like the emergence of Alexa and Echo devices and home assistants. So I think that's the main side. A lot of the generative AI solutions that we're seeing, they're all, of course, all deployed inside of cloud. So a lot of workloads that solution architects are going to be working on are going to include things like like generative AI solutions. And then, then the other side is using those tools to become more efficient doing that job. That could be anything from cost optimization. So you could analyze everything that you're doing inside of a cloud environment and say, well, um, looking at what you're doing there, there's an opportunity to make some cost savings here. So if you're um, writing a cloud formation template, which is a great thing to do if you're deploying infrastructure inside of AWS, for example, they can be tricky to get together. Um, but if you can use an AI tool to help you write that more efficiently, then absolutely go ahead and do that. Yeah, that makes sense. I personally also try to streamline a lot of the things that I do with AI. Uh, for example, getting ChatGPT to write some of the code that I need. I think AI has been around for a long time, but only recently has it started to become more prevalent in the general population. Absolutely. Like I, I used to talk about AI with, you know, my family and no one really cared. And now all of a sudden, everybody wants to know about it and everybody wants to talk about it. So as someone working in the tech and cloud space, what do you think are some of the skills people should develop in order to stay up to date with the recent tech trends, but also try to maximize their chances of getting hired into a cloud role? Yeah, okay, so there's, there's lots that you can do, I think, in this space right now. So number one, obviously, cloud, right? So if you're wanting to get into the IT space, then cloud is where it's at, and you should absolutely be looking at cloud certifications and um, understanding about cloud technology. But then, Beyond that, I think we are now seeing this, this massive explosion in generative AI particularly has made everybody in the organization, whatever organization it is, everybody in the organization is now talking about machine learning and artificial intelligence. So if you can be the person going into that conversation 
who knows what the technology can do um, and maybe knows what it can't do at the moment and is just trying to stay across what the latest developments are, then you're going to be really, really valuable because everybody wants to have AI in their organization, but lots of people don't know how to do that or even what it can do. The number one tip I can give to anybody is just have a go with the tools, have a go with anything that you can get your hands on because the more you get a sense of how it works, where the problems are, how you solve them, that's, that's key skills that you can get right there. And this is a new and emerging space. There are very, very few people out there who are real, real experts in this stuff. So if you can start just using the technology and using those tools, then you'll place yourself well against all other candidates looking for roles in this space. Remember, nobody is really an expert. Nobody's been working with generative AI tools for 10 years because they didn't exist 10 years ago. So don't panic, um, use the technology, keep, keep researching what's happening. Um, if you hear about new tools that come out and new things that you can play with, then just have a look at them and um, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, that was some really good advice on how to stay up to date in the field, just making sure you're playing around with the technologies and actively using them. All right, before we continue, I'd like to share with you a fantastic learning platform called Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. If you have specific skills you're trying to learn, Skillshare is a great place to start. They have courses ranging from tech and finance to productivity, video editing, and more. For those of you interested in learning AI, I'd recommend this class providing a beginner's introduction to artificial intelligence and machine learning. I joined Skillshare to learn more about tech and productivity, and by taking classes like these, I hope to continue building my skills. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. So if you'd like to learn new skills, I'd highly recommend signing up to Skillshare for one month of free access. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I know a lot of you who clicked on this video are probably wondering and still concerned that AI would potentially replace your job. And Mike, so for people who are worried, what would be some advice you'll give these job seekers and people already working in tech? Um, I think don't panic. I think don't panic. Um, broadly speaking, things will be all right. Use the tools, play around with the tools, get used to what you can do with it. Yes, things are changing. And so if you're a developer right now, for example, um, you would want to be starting to look at using some of the coding companion tools that are out there, such as Code Whisperer, to help you be more efficient. Um, but nothing's going to come along, I don't think, and just completely and utterly replace your job in the tech industry. Um, the thing that people need to remember and take heart from this, I mean, if you're watching a channel like yours and you're into cloud computing and you know that that's where the technology is, there are lots and lots of people in the world at the moment, lots of organizations in the world who haven't made the transition over to cloud yet. So you're already one step ahead of a lot of people um, and a lot of IT setups. So you're already there. Um, just keep an eye on what this technology is doing. Um, and as I said before, use it, play around with it and get a sense for what it can do. And you'll remain one step ahead. Look, I think, will it replace jobs? Not really. Will it change jobs? Yes, absolutely. So an, an example of this is if you're working in a small data center somewhere, then that job really, you need to start looking at getting cloud skilled because things are moving to the cloud. It makes a lot of sense to move things to the cloud that you have time. So you should skill up in that space. In a similar kind of way, the next wave will be artificial intelligence, generative AI, and it will help people out. And so just be part of that movement and I think things will be fine. Thank you so much, Mike, for sharing your insights and expertise today. So for those who want to find out more about what you do and also the exciting things you've been working on, how can they find you on socials? Um, the best place is LinkedIn. So if you look for me on LinkedIn, um, Mike G Chambers, maybe I can give you a link to put with the video, um, connect with me on there. Anything that I do, I will post to there. And yeah, anybody who wants to have a conversation about generative AI, my door is always open.